Hello YouTube, I'm Oliver Eaton. The human excuse for a presenter. Wait, no one in the script. Oh, damn. So animals, they, they're just things, aren't they? That, that's a mistake. I, start again. Animals are really known for adapting, just like humans, to their environments. In fact, I went through the files and I found some of the coolest ways that animals adapt to their environments. Here's some. So, a type of frog has been known to hibernate in its own mucus for years. After a rainy season, African pixie frogs will burrow underground and seal themselves in mucus sacs for up to seven years until it rains again. Some deers have been known to bark as a system used by dogs, of course. Uh, if you scare the southern red mont jack deer, it barks at you. That deer must be barking mad. Oh, wait a minute, I, I've got no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was there. A squirrel uses its tail for shade. Cape ground squirrels give us all the reason to be a bit jealous. Because they get the tail and the shade and we get sunstroke. Cheers, squirrels! A scorpion can go without food for up to a year. Thanks to specialised metabolism scorpions, they can stand to miss a few meals. Well, a few, pretty much a year's worth. There's one bird that actually carries water in its feathers. A male sand grusy would collect water in its feathers and take it back to the nest to share with its family. And that is one self-efficient bird. Some starfish has hidden arms. Known as the basket star, the starfish uses its tendrils to wrap around plankton and feed on them. I wouldn't want that in my duck pond. There are some types of antelope that eat standing on two legs. Known as the Waller's gazelle, this unique feeding posture allows these creatures to reach the higher branches. And there you go. The survival of the fitness. We did Charles Darwin proud. Wait, was it? What's the Darwin? I don't listen in science class. Oh, okay. There's some tree hoppers what actually have ants on their back. Okay, so it's not really an ant, really, I lied. It's more of a clavata. Successfully managed to imitate one of its backside. Bit weird. Yeah. There's actually some vultures that pee on themselves. As eating rotten flesh wasn't gross enough, vultures actually let pee run down their legs to cool off. I need to try it. Okay, no. This is supposed to be a trap friendly. It's actually being discovered that some ants have little hooks on their backs. Now imagine putting your hand into a colony. These apparently are used and adapted to strap onto their prey, but they cannot loosen it unless you kill the ant. So again, imagine sticking your hand into a colony. Ow! Oh, and fingers. Oh. Anyway, that spells the end of the video. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure I press the subscribe button down there. It's a big red one if you're new to YouTube. And also, please put the like button, as it does take quite a long time to get all these videos. Or if there's two of you, both put a like. But then again, that'll probably just be my only viewers. Mm. Anyway, I'll see you next week on Fact Friday. Make sure you watch other videos on this channel. From me, Oliver Eaton. <gasps> Bye!